What's up, my dudes? Valk here. Today, I'm going to be guessing at something. So you guys know yesterday afternoon's video, or whatever time it is for you guys, was talking about 1.4 and how it's probably going to be a Mondstadt based festival. Since we had a Lilway Face festival in 1.3, and we haven't been to Mondstadt in quite some time now. So, <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to talk about the banners and who do I think is coming as a possible new unit. <clears throat> I believe, if I was to guess, it's been about six months since Venti has came out. I believe they will rerun Venti. Because a lot of people miss Venti. Venti's really sought after. A lot of people want Venti. So I think Venti will be, just like in 1.3, will be a two-week banner. And then after Venti, I believe we will have a Gene rate up banner as a standard banner. And alongside Gene, I think that, based off my knowledge, I think Rosario will come as a four star on Gene. Just guessing at this, just a guess. I think Rosario will come as a four star on a Gene banner for two weeks because nobody's going to summon for Gene by themselves. But if you throw a really good four star unit on it that a lot of people want, people will summon. So now we have the Gene banner and the Venti banner, but then you go, wait. So updates are six weeks long. Venti plus Gene equals four weeks. Who could the third unit be? Who could the last unit be? Keep in mind, everything I'm about to say is purely guessing. Everything I have said is purely me guessing. I'm just guessing, so I want to make sure to drive that home. I'm going to give you guys the evidence as to what I have, as to what I'm about to say, but you can probably guess by the title of this video, I think the next unit that's going to come in 1.4 that's going to be the final two weeks of 1.4 is going to be Varka. Now, why do I think Varka is finally going to return home during 1.4? Because I believe 1.4 is going to be a festival. And also, he is the last Mondstadt character we have voice lines for. What I mean by voice lines, if you go over to profile, you go over to voiceover, you can see different characters mention him. If you go all the way down, Varka, you have, um, let me pull it up. This is going to be taken from their official discord about to quote their official discord for everything i'm about to say so let me pull up varka varka you have barbara talk about him bennett talk about him the luke gene kaya noel razor and child he is the most mentioned character that's not in the game yet why can we use these as a metric for whether he's coming or not is we have barbara lisa amber kaya Clea, albedo varka noel rosaria and the Luke Sucrose. We can see every single one of these characters, and it's going to be the exact same for basically everyone, except for maybe characters that aren't from Leiwe or Mondstadt. But every one of these characters is basically summonable or going to be summonable. So you have like Baizu here, he's not summonable yet. Then you have Child who mentions the Saritza and one of the Harbingers. You have all these characters that um, mention things and all the characters normally are summonable. The only one I found that mentions somebody that's absolutely not going to be summonable is Chi Chi. Chi Chi mentions uh, Dusky Ming right here. If you don't know who Dusky Ming is, Dusky is Dusky Ming is the ghost that you kind of get out of the kitchen whenever the first time you meet Xiao. That's Dusky Ming. I highly doubt Dusky Ming is ever going to be <laughs> ever going to be summonable, but that is a uh, that's the only one that I found that actually can apply to an NPC. So if we look at that, we can see that Varka is mentioned a bunch of times. So now, who exactly is Varka? And do we have any more evidence to support he's coming? Well, one, we already have his weapon in the game. It's the Wolf's Gravestone. If you guys don't know, let me just quote Child here. Varka, just thought the uh, uh, just the thought of one day going head to head with him in combat, the fabled Knight of Boreas himself titan of the knights of favonius it makes me buzz with excitement and then we also can go razor we can take razor's thing razor's voice line varka razor doesn't know oh varka is a name that man big big steel claw razor's name varka gave him oh want to see him so we can assume based on razor and child's um descriptions of him that varka is a giant giant dude so now that I've said that, let's go, let's bring up the flavor text of the Wolf's Gravestone. I don't have the Wolf's Gravestone in the game, so I'm going to be reading off of the wiki. So it is, the Knight of Boris's journey ended at the city of Barbados. 
blah, blah, blah. He had a wolf with him. Him and his wolf companion fought. He outlived the wolf, so automatically the person in the story is older by the end of it. And to mark, to play tribute to the wolf that he battled with and partnered with all the time, he uh, left the wolf's gravestone there as a marker for the wolf. And then he went off on his own journey. Does this sound familiar? So Varka is definitely, he has his own weapon in the game. He's mentioned the most, even more than Hu Tao. He's mentioned eight times by different characters. Um, Hu Tao's mentioned seven. So he has mentioned the most. His personality is he's pretty carefree and just kind of lets Gene handle everything whenever he's here. But right now he's away on expedition with Barbara's father and a bunch of the Knights of Favonius. So if they were to return, now that all the calamities pass and it makes sense of him to return during a festival, it makes a lot of sense. So, and because his weapon is Wolf's Greystone, we can also assume he's going to be a Claymore user. This is all the evidence that I have to where I think Varka is going to be coming in 1.4. Now, let me answer some questions we have. One, why hasn't there been any data mines or leaks? Everybody else has been data mining and leaked. Well, if Varka is this giant dude, right now, if you don't know, we have basically three body types in the game. We have Tall, Average, and Lolly. Those are the three body types we have. We have one for each gender. So it's six body types total. One for each gender, but tall, average, and lolly. If Varka has a unique model because he is a giant dude, then he's not going to be able to be data mined until his model and everything's actually put into the game. It makes sense that they went ahead and put everything else into the game because it fits those models. So this is all the evidence that I have to support that I believe Varka is going to be the second limited banner of 1.4 and run for two weeks. Now, that being said, please let me reiterate what I said in the beginning. I have no concrete evidence to back this up. This right here, see this map, all these little thumbtacks, everything. This is, this is me connecting all the dots and ribbons and trying to decipher the code in my crazy, crazy way and try to make sense because I definitely have um, definitely have a lot of bias of wanting uh, Varka to come because I'm really hyped for Varka. Um, the description of Varka alone makes me really excited for him. So please keep that in mind that this is just a guess. I have no evidence to say for sure he's coming or not. I have no evidence to suggest he is coming. This is just me taking an absolute guess. Because it's either Varka or it's a Klee rerun. And I don't think that they would rerun twice. And I, uh, I don't think they would do two reruns in one update cycle. That would just be repeating 1.0. And they'd miss out on all that sweet, sweet whale money. So I think Varka might be the second unit coming in 1.4. And if he is, I am going to be very, very ecstatic. If he's everything as, uh, like I just described, I'm going to be so, so happy. But yeah, anyways, guys, like I said, I knew today was going to be a long video. This is one to make it its own video. This is why I believe Varka is coming in 1.4. Hopefully, this has you guys somewhat excited for Varka if you really want him. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully, I'm right, but who knows? Once again, I got to reiterate this point for the third time because a lot of people are going to run with what I say and say it's truth. I'm not saying anything in here is truth. This is just me theory crafting and guessing. Please, I have to stress that point so hard because people are going to say that I said this and I said it's true. And I know no matter how many times I say that I'm just guessing, people are going to still hold me to this. So please understand this is theorycraft and guessing and odds are I'm probably wrong on this. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of theorycraft. Hope, it, hope this gets you guys excited for Varka because I'm pretty excited for Varka. He seems like an absolute fucking monster. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Peace.